Welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. Happy New Year and a happy new year of nails. Um, so this is day one or week one of 52 weeks of nail stamping. Um, all of them are created by me. Um, I made the list. If anybody else wants to join, you can find it on my Instagram or go to the hashtag 52 week nail stamp challenge. And uh, this week is, of course, New Year's nails. And so we're going to do some New Year's stamping. So these videos should be a little shorter than they used to be. Um, but we'll probably add some other things besides stamping to them. But this week it's just stamping. So um, I have two stamp templates that I'm using today. Um, I'm using this big um, bunch of different um, designs on here, all New Year's themed, all squinched together. And we're just going to use that Happy New Year right there. And I'll show you how to get that um, and avoid all of the other stuff. And then um, I'm going to use some... Uh, confetti blowers, I don't know, noisemakers uh, on the rest of my nails. Just have Happy New Year on my accent nail. And today's nail polish is my standard Broadway. Usual, um, just the regular, not the gel. Um, so Broadway black. And then I have decided to go with uh, Bundle Monster, which is now called Nannyology. I um, but it was Bundle Monster way I bought it. Gold um, as my stamping polish color. And uh, for this, you'll need your stamps, of course. Um, I have a plastic scraper today and a um, squishy clear stamper. I always have some acetone-free nail polish remover handy. Um, in case I mess up, it'll uh, work once without messing up your nails. I'm gonna get some tape out too and I'm gonna get this um, ready ahead of time so I can do it faster. And um, not all nail polish top coat is created equal, but this out the door quick dry top coat works pretty well for stamping. So I am using that. I also have a cleanup brush. I am not using a latex barrier today because the gold comes off pretty easily. If I was using um, a black polish or maybe even a red stamping polish, I'd use a um, barrier. So let's get started by doing the Happy New Year, which is my accent nail. So, lighting is fun. There we go. Um, so I'm just going to apply this to the Happy New Year portion right here. And I prefer scraping down. It just depends on your own personal preferences. I always have a um, napkin down because uh, this does tend to get a little messy. And now quick, before it all dries, I am going to take this tape and I am going to apply it to the stamper everywhere except for the Happy New Year. Alrighty, and now we're going to place that on our nail and center it. And voila, a nice happy new year. Now um, to clean up my um, stamper, I use a lint roller, one of those sticky rollers. Um, I don't use acetone on my stamper because it does tend to ruin it but I do use nail polish remover to clean everything else off. 
And that's something that you really want to do every time you, uh, before you start every time. Oh, I forgot to add nail polish. <laughs> Helps if you have nail polish remover on it. So that's all clean off and ready for next time. And now we're going to use this one. This is our um, noisemakers. And uh, we're going to apply that. And you really don't have to apply it on the whole nail stamper all the time. I'm just doing that because I had a lot of nail polish on there. Um, you can also, if you want to uh, be a little more lenient with your polish, you can just apply a line to the top or the side depending on which way you scrape. And it'll fill in the rest. So just a quick up and down, and then we apply that to our nail, and that's all there is to it. Um, so um, stamping does take practice, and hopefully throughout the year I will get better at it, and uh, you'll see better uh, patterns, but um, each person does it a little different. Some people go side to side, some people go up, some people go down. Um, some people apply the polish to the whole nail and some apply it just to the top. But there are a few tricks to it. Um, now I'm gonna take some acetone or nail polish remover and clean up around the edges. I don't so much need to do that on my accent nail, but on this one I do. And now that that's done, I'm going to apply my top coat. To apply top coat, you want to um, apply it a nice bead of polish on your nail. And you don't want to push down. You want to glide over your nail so that it doesn't smear. The fewer strokes that you can do, the better. I'm not so great with polish. I get it everywhere, whenever I paint my nails. That's what cleanup brushes are for. So that's it. That is our lovely New Year nails. So I'm ready to go out and party. <laughs> so that's it for this week. Um, next week, week two of our stamping is black and white and so we'll see you then